lottery, here's Bob Costas. And we come to you at halftime of the Eastern Conference Finals, the Bulls leading the Knicks 48 to 44. And we're at the NBA Draft Lottery being held this year at the Sheraton New York Hotel and Towers. The NBA Draft itself will be held on June 30th at the Palace of Auburn Hills, the home of the Detroit Pistons. Today, the order of selection will be determined by the lottery. This is the ninth annual draft lottery. It was introduced in part to remove the possibility of teams with poor records losing intentionally in order to secure a high pick in the draft based solely on order of finish. So what's at stake today? Well, unlike last year when the prize for winning the lottery was pretty clearly Shaquille O'Neal going in this year while there are many fine players it's not so clear-cut who's number one most NBA observers feel that the first pick will be one of two players Sean Bradley of Brigham Young the seven foot six inch junior who didn't play last year or this serving a Mormon mission in Australia instead the other possible number one pick is six foot nine inch Chris Weber of Michigan who left after his sophomore year with the Fab Five after leading the Wolverines to the NCAA title game each of the last two seasons. The rest of the top picks also figure to be underclassmen. Kentucky's Jamal Mashburn took his team to the Final Four this year before they lost to Michigan in the semis. And Anthony Hardaway of Memphis State and Rodney Rogers of Wake Forest are projected to be among the top five selections. Okay, here's a review of the rules and an explanation of how the draft lottery works. Take a look. The 11 teams that didn't qualify for the playoffs all have a shot at the number one pick. That's Dallas, Minnesota, Washington, Sacramento, Philadelphia, Milwaukee, Golden State, Denver, Miami, Detroit, and Orlando. The Nuggets and Heat finished with identical records, and a special draw held at the conclusion of the regular season determined that Denver gets one more ball than Miami. If neither team winds up in the top three, then the Nuggets will have the earlier selection. The NBA uses a weighted system which increases the chances of teams with the worst records getting the top picks. The Mavericks will have 11 chances out of 66 for the number one choice, each chance represented by a ball. Minnesota gets 10 chances, one more than Washington, and so on down to Orlando, which has one chance in 66. The balls are placed in a clear cylinder. They will be mixed and then drawn to the top. The first to emerge from the cylinder will represent the first pick in the draft. The second non-duplicate ball will get the second pick, and the third non-duplicate ball, the third pick. The order of selection for the remaining eight teams will be determined by inverse order of their regular season records. This guarantees that the team with the worst record, Dallas, will get no lower than the fourth overall pick. Now, one more note here. Should Miami not appear in the top three, their pick will go to Detroit as part of the John Sally trade. So Detroit could be looking at two picks in the top 11. The actual drawing has just been conducted in a separate room under the supervision of NBA Deputy Commissioner Russ Granick. The process was witnessed by representatives of the 11 lottery teams, different representatives from the individuals sitting here. Also there was Mark Manoff, a partner in the international accounting firm of Ernst & Young. Mr. Manoff is the only person in this studio who knows the results, including Commissioner David Stern. Immediately following the drawing, Mr. Manoff took the logo for each lottery team and placed it into a numbered envelope corresponding to that team's position in the 1993 draft. Since then, Mr. Manoff has retained exclusive custody of the envelopes, which have just been placed in order on the numbered board. The sealed envelopes will be opened shortly by Commissioner Stern. But first, here are the team representatives. From the Orlando Magic, General Manager Pat Williams. From the Detroit Pistons, Director of Player Personnel, Billy McKinney. Representing the Miami Heat, Executive Vice President Pauline Winnick. From the Denver Nuggets, their GM, Bernie Bickerstaff. From the Golden State Warriors, Head Coach and General Manager Don Nelson. Representing the Milwaukee Bucks, Vice President of Player Personnel, Lee Rose. From the Philadelphia 76ers, General Manager Jim Lynham. From the Sacramento Kings, General Manager Jerry Reynolds. Representing the Washington Bullets, Team Owner Abe Poland. From the Minnesota Timberwolves, Owner Harvey Ratner. And finally, from the Dallas Mavericks, General Manager Norm Sanju.
Commissioner Stern will open the envelopes representing the selection order 11 through 1. Keep in mind that since slots 4 through 11 are determined by inverse order of regular season finish and only the first three positions are determined by the lottery, if Orlando, for example, doesn't come up 11 or Detroit doesn't come up 10 and so on down the line, it means that that team has defied the odds and lucked into one of the top three selections. And now to announce the order of the first 11 picks of this year's NBA draft, here's the commissioner, David Stern. <coughs> Good afternoon and welcome to the NBA Draft Lottery. Everyone has been briefed on the lottery procedures, so let's get started and see who picks where in the 1993 NBA Draft. The 11th pick goes to the Detroit Pistons. Orlando, which got Shaquille O'Neal last year and improved to 500, has jumped into the first three. Pat Williams already celebrating. The 10th pick goes to the Miami Heat, who, as Bob has explained, have traded that pick to the Detroit Pistons. So the Pistons have the 10th and 11th choices. The 9th pick goes to the Denver Nuggets. The 8th pick goes to the Milwaukee Bucks. The seventh pick goes to the Sacramento Kings. Golden State has moved up. The sixth pick goes to the Washington Bullets. Washington, which stood to have one of the first three picks, statistically has not fared well, dropping the back to six. The fifth pick goes to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Minnesota also not faring that well. The fourth Figured pick have goes... The first couple of picks. The Mavericks could not have done any worse than and that. And now, the, the teams that have the first three picks in the 1993 NBA draft, the teams that really are going to love this game. <laughs> The third pick in the 1993 NBA draft goes to the Golden State Warriors. Philly or Orlando? Philly or the Orlando? The second pick in the 1993 NBA draft goes to the Philadelphia 76ers. Unbelievable. And believe it or not, the first pick in the 1993 NBA draft goes to the Orlando Magic. Come on up. This is in the category of go figure. The number one pick last year was Shaquille O'Neal almost made the playoffs. This year, one ball out of 66 in the hopper and they get the number one pick. When we come back, we'll talk with Pat Williams. Assuming he can get his bearings soon enough, that's next. After a message from Prudential and a word from the NBA. Well, Pat Williams, the general manager of the Orlando Magic, is sitting with me for the second time in as many years. Now, last year, when you nabbed Shaquille, you had statistically an excellent chance. Here's your reaction this year, when you had just one chance in 66. <laughs> is there any way to explain your surprise? I'm stunned. I can't even speak. I mean, now, we, show, the, show the folks what you're wearing. Your 10th anniversary... Philadelphia 76ers watch. Of course, you used to be their general manager, and it came down to you and Jim Lynham with his fingers crossed Amazing. for the 76ers. Now, now, you might be the one team that wouldn't even think about Sean Bradley with Shaquille, whereas Bradley is likely to go now as the number two choice of the 76ers. They need a center. Is it safe to assume you guys take Chris Weber now? Bob, I don't know. Wait, listen, I'm not even thinking straight. We're bringing in kids last week to look at the 11th and the 10th spot, you know, those kinds of players, and suddenly the whole world has turned upside down. Right now, the big job is our capologist. Bob Vanderweide and our capologists have a massive <laughs> job ahead of them, believe me, because we went through a summer last year, the likes of which we've never seen, and lightning has struck twice. It's absolutely unbelievable. And uh, we came up here just... Um, trying to be quiet and mind our own business and uh, the whole world has exploded it's absolutely overwhelming to us you missed making the playoffs by the narrowest yes. of margins obviously that turned out to be a very good thing well we missed the playoffs by five points i think in a tiebreaker 
and we're very disappointed. Uh, have tried to make the best of it, have been thinking all along we'd pick 11 and would get a pretty good player. And here we are sitting on top of the world here and in the most unexpected way. It's an absolute miracle and we're grateful for it. It's, uh, it's wonderful. Obviously you want to make the playoffs, but in the long run, to improve as you did to a 500 team yes. with Shaq and the supporting cast the first year, and then to get the number one pick, likely you would have been bounced out early in the playoffs. So in the long run, this is the best possible scenario and an incredible scenario. It's, it's one you would not describe. Hollywood would have a tough time dealing with this one, Bob. So it's absolutely the best of all worlds and uh, what can I say? It's magic. Something else, yes it is, for the Orlando <laughs> Magic. Something else worth noting, as we say, the 76ers likely to take Sean Bradley. That's our best guess. Golden State moved all the way up to number three. Now you think about the Golden State roster, the quality of people they have, and they were de decimated by injuries this past year with the third pick in the draft. It could be a, a Mashburn, a yes. Weber, somebody like that. They could jump right back into playoff contention. Well, they, got, they had great players. All They got a bunch of all-stars to begin with, Bob. Then they had a horrible run of injuries, and now you factor in a premier player for them. They're on their way back. It's, it's a wonderful break for them. Well, congratulations. Robert, I, I walked by you last year on the way up to the stage, right. and I said, I'll be back for the interview. I didn't do that this year. You know, I, I didn't have the crust to do that. But here I am. You should, you know, Atlantic City's only a short drive. <laughs> Vegas is a plane flight. I mean, you ought to be heading over there, the role you're on. By way of review, here's the order of selection for next month's NBA draft. The first pick belongs to the Orlando Magic, then Philadelphia, Golden State number three, Dallas falls to number four, and they couldn't have done any worse. They won only 11 games this year, statistically had the best shot at number one. They couldn't have done worse than four because four through 11 is inverse order of finish. That's where they are. Then Minnesota, Washington, Sacramento, Milwaukee, Denver, and Detroit has both the 10th and the 11th selections. We'll send it back to the Garden for the second half of the Knicks and the Bulls. Chicago up by four. Marv Albert and Mike Fratello rejoin you right after these messages from your local station. This has been the Prudential Halftime Report, brought to you by the Prudential. Peace of mind, it comes with every piece of the rock.